Hi there, I'm Marek from Banana Panda. I have a question. What does a three-year-old know? Do you know the answer? Your child knows many words, can communicate effectively and demonstrates increasing independence. A child of this age asks many questions and their curiosity about the world also includes interest in letters and reading. Your child can learn to recognize letters by playing games, so that when they begin learning to read, the letters will not be completely unfamiliar or intimidating. As you play, remember a few simple tips for making playtime an educational adventure. Make sure your child is listening and looking at whatever you are talking about. Speak slowly and clearly, and use your index finger to point to each picture. Playtime should first and foremost be fun. If your child is tired or discouraged, continue your game another day. Okay, let's get right to our supersized puzzle alphabet match. Supersized educational puzzles can be played in many ways. I'm going to show you a few ways how to spend a really good time with your kid. The first game develops small motor skills and hand-eye coordination. Show your child the right way to match the circles and encourage them to try it. As your child inserts each letter circle, don't say, this is A for alligator, but instead, this is an alligator. Alligator starts with the letter A. The next game develops the ability to imitate and prepares your child for learning to read and write. Put the letter circles into a bucket or a box. Ask your child to take out the circles one by one and match them to the right picture. If your child doesn't know the letters yet, they can use the colors to make the matches. You can start this game with a smaller number of pieces. As you complete the puzzle, remind your child of the names of each animal and letter. Have fun imitating the animals pictured on each illustration. For example, by imitating the sound it makes, or the way it stands, or moves. This game is good for your child's spatial orientation, understanding of verbal comments, use of prepositional phrases, and large motor skills. Look at the completed puzzle. Ask your child to tell you, for example, which animal is above the owl, under the lion, in front of the jellyfish, or after the elephant. You can also place the animals in groups, which animals are facing the right, and which are facing the left. Which have four legs? Which ones live in water? The last proposition is all about careful listening, the ability to construct language categories and vocabulary. Lay out the puzzle name the animals and match them to the correct letter circles. Ask your child to choose the animal and say its name and the letter it starts with. Help your child if necessary. Try to think up other words that start with the same letter. What does the animal eat? What would the animal play with? Like whale and watermelon or alligator and apples. Super-sized puzzle alphabet match provides creative fun and many ways to play. Use one of our suggestions or let your imagination run wild and think up your own games. <laughs>